Hello. <laughs> it's always so weird to go live because I'm talking to myself. However, because reality is me pushed out, I'm always talking to myself, so maybe not so weird. Let me take this out so it doesn't make noise. Hello. So I wanted to come on to do a little chat about energy protection techniques. How to protect your energy. How to keep your energy safe particularly if you are energetically sensitive, like an empath or a psychic, you may feel the need to practice energy protection techniques. If you're giving readings um, or, you know, even if it's just with friends, you may feel like you need to do some sort of technique to protect yourself before you share or protect your energy amongst groups of people or protect your energy about protect your energy from a specific person, maybe someone toxic. And there's a lot of information out there on how to protect your energy. And I'm here to say that, in fact, you do not need any of those things. You do not need to protect your energy. Okay? All of your experiences in your life, including all of the people that you interact with are you pushed out okay they are a projection of you so there is nothing to protect yourself from instead you can choose to own this fact and own your own energy you can choose instead of protecting your energy you can choose how to project your energy. So essentially, you are becoming bigger than the toxic situation, bigger than the energy draining situation, and choosing how to impress or project your own energy onto that situation in order to shift it. There's nothing to protect yourself from because it's all you. So instead of protecting yourself, project yourself. Choose how you prefer to feel. Choose to feel empowered. Choose to feel safe. Remind yourself that the situation is you pushed out and adjust accordingly. Adjust your mindset about it. Adjust your thoughts about it. Adjust the story you're telling yourself about it. Get yourself into a better feeling place. Hi, Tracy. Get yourself into a better feeling place and that will effectively shift the vibration of the energy around you. You may not see it happen right away, but your energy will have changed and therefore you will stop creating these types of situations. Another method or idea that I had when I was coming on was this idea of instead of protecting your energy to reflect. Okay. So let's say you are in a conversation with someone who is like rattling on about all the shitty things in their life and you're just like, oh my God, I just can't even take this anymore. You know, you're smiling on the outside, but on the inside, you're just like wanting to escape because it, you feel like it's just such negative energy, right? Like a drain. There's no need for you to run from that person. There's no need for you to protect your energy from that person because again, they are a version of you being pushed out. But one method that you can try that I have found to be so effective in those acute situations where you really are not loving the vibe of the interaction you're having is to imagine a mirror up in front of you with the glass reflective part of the mirror facing outward toward the other person. Okay, so you just imagine a mirror shooting up in front of you with the glass part facing out towards the toxic person. And what that does is, instead of you reabsorbing that energy, instead of you buying into it, instead of you feeding it, 
their energy is going to be reflected back to them. Okay, back to them. It will not be shared. You'll stop the progression of that energy by reflecting it back to them. So you can still be a compassionate friend or a compassionate coworker and listen attentively and smile and nod. And in your mind, you just visualize this mirror facing them so that everything that they are sharing and projecting, all of the energy offput that's coming from them circles right back to them. And I also have at times incorporated a little intention prayer type thing in my mind while I do this, where I kind of intend that the person gets to see the truth of this for themselves. So while they're prattling on about some drama or trauma, I reflect the mirror to them and compassionately, I intend that they see the truth of this for themselves. And the truth is always that their reality, their experience is them being pushed out and therefore they have the power to change it. They're not victims and neither are you. You are the operant power of your life. You are the driving force and how you feel and think and who you are being is what is creating your reality. So you don't have to explain this to people. This is another great trick for like, if you're starting to learn this stuff and you're starting to jive with it more and see it more in your life and you want to share it with other people around you, but you know, they're just going to roll their eyes at you or they just won't get it. Or you feel afraid to express it in words for fear of judgment, then try this mirror technique where even if you're not in a conflict or having a bad time with them, you're just hanging out. Just mentally imagine a mirror going up and intend that they see the truth of themselves for themselves. And that is such a loving and compassionate energy to share. And because your life, your reality, and the people that you interact with are you pushed out, when you send them love and compassion and truth seeing like this, you in turn are going to receive that energy as well. Okay, so I think that covers it. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. Oh, so my empath workshop on the 27th, the promo code, the early bird promo code has expired and congratulations to everybody that bought in for that. I'm so pleased to see everyone who's attending. I made another promo code today for $11 off your ticket price and the promo code is all capitals empath. So creative, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you want to join in, then you can get 11 bucks off your ticket using that promo code, and I'll leave that up for the time being. Thanks, you guys, and have a beautiful day mirroring everyone and helping other people to see the truth of life, including yourself. <laughs>